Super Nintendo of America presents Marcus Galacticus 1, the first one. After our heroes Marcus and Luis's last adventure stopping the dreadful Benny and son Benson at a coastal resort in Honolulu, our heroes return home only to find out Marcus' fiance and lover Percy have been murdered and her body was sent to be crucified and used as sacrifice for the dark sun god of destruction, Shigeru Miyamoto. Seeing how this is disrespectful to our body, Mark and Luis both get together in the Markmobile and travel to space to visit Benny in his interstellar house of non-acquaintance. One of Benny's goons and father-in-law, Merlin, sees the pair of brothers leaving the stratosphere and throws a really big object at them, causing them to crash into a space mom's house. The space woman introduces herself as Rosario and tells the brothers about her many babies, all named Lucasfilm. Seeing as how the Markmobile is now destroying, Rosario decides to use her ship, the Conservatory, to fly the brothers into Benny's place. As they planned, Benny commends his henchmen, consisting of Goodfella, Turtle, Bob, whomever, and the Seven Deadly Sins, to go after the pair of brothers on their quest of reconciliation. Mark and Louise swiftly defeated all the bad men and arrive at Bennett's room with a warrant. I see you brothers have come for the woman of death. However, I cannot let you amigos achieve the consequences of not grabbing her and laying her to rest. As such, I will smite you down, declared Benny. Luis, however, pulls out an M16 revolver and shoots Benny in the head, killing him effectively and assuringly. Sensing the sacrifice is now in vain, Shigeru Miyamoto consumes reality and takes the corpse of Burps. Not wanting her ex-husband to be happy for once, Rosario sends Lucasfilm out to blow up Miyamoto and reset reality. Ending Marcus Galacticus 1, the first one for the hearty haha.